Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today for IBPS, RRB, Scale 2 and Scale 3, we are going to do this important session for banking systems in India. This is an important quiz. Both important questions have been made today. 10 questions that I'm going to share. So please watch the previous sessions. Very, very important. So students, IBPS, RRB, Scale 2 and Scale 3 course, we have already started on bankexamstudy.com. We are providing complete video classes and notes, a test series, a live sessions, uh, power capsules and interview preparation guidance. Everything is available on bankexamstudy.com. Link to join the course is available in the description. Please check the description. Uh, 9067201000. This is my WhatsApp number. Ask your doubts on the WhatsApp. <coughs> it is a type of regulated entity that helps an individual securely and digitally access and share information from one institution to another institution. Uh, in its network, <coughs> which entity we are talking about, we are talking about account aggregators. So account aggregators, what they do system introduced by RBI, which helps institutions to share account details to share account details, right? Uh, which the that store consumer data, and that you know, share the securely shares the account uh, customer data from one institution to another. So very important. This is account aggregators. With reference to helicopter money, first of all, what is the concept of helicopter money? Helicopter money means the central bank prints the currency, uh, put that currency in the helicopter, distribute uh, that money via helicopter to the general public. Okay. Central bank ne note chape and uh, wo note helicopter mein dale and then hawa mein leke jake wo note uh, uda diye and you just collect that money and spend that money. That is helicopter money. How helicopter money helps the economy? Basically helicopter money, you know, it, it provides you the uh, funds. Now everybody got the money. Everybody is going to the market and buy products, right? Sab log kuch na kuch kharidenge and that will help the economy to grow. Sab log kuch na kuch because they are buying stuffs. There is demand in the economy. Obviously, uh, there will be supply. Uh, there will be supply in the economy. The factories are going to work, right? Or factories lagengi, or paisa log. <coughs> log pas paisa hai, there is demand. People are going to make products, right? So that is the concept of helicopter money. Obviously, nowadays government helicopter pe nahi jayegi. Government is directly going to deposit money on your account. That happened in US at the time of uh, COVID. The government of USA <coughs> deposited six fifty dollars in everybody's account. Even in India, uh, the government does that uh, via PM Kisan Yojana. So this concept was introduced by Milton Friedman, which is correct and it increases the money supply in the economy, which is correct. But there is no interest rate. There is no interest rate nahi hai because the government gave you the money. Obviously, there is no concept of interest on helicopter money. Hai? <coughs> so in 1969, Milton Friedman coined this term. Consider the following statement related to the Indian banks uh, for PCA. In the PCA, the key parameters are capital sufficiency, asset quality and leverages, which is actually correct. Under PCA, banks are permitted, not permitted, which is false. Banks are permitted to make investment in government securities and bonds. So this is false, uh, permitted hai actually. It is applicable to scheduled commercial banks as well as foreign banks working in India. So uh, only the, the first statement is correct. Only the first statement is correct. Let's move forward with reference to the small finance bank, which of the following statements are correct. Small finance banks are registered as a public limited company, which is actually correct. A lot of small finance banks are listed in the stock markets. Uh, <coughs> Equitas, I guess, uh, is, uh, is a public limited company. Uh, Nichi Gate Moore uh, committee recommended this category of bank minimum paid up capital is 5000 crores. So uh, first and second one is correct. Minimum paid up capital 5000 crore nahi, I guess it's 200 crores. So it's not 5000 crore it is 200 crores. Okay. Ye 5000 crore nahi hai. This is 200 crore only. So first and second are correct. Not all every uh, not the all of them. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> 
विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग रेगुलेट अकाउंट एग्रीगेटर्स इन इंडिया आर बी तो ऑब्वियसली करता है एंड से बी एफ एस डी सी आई आर डी ए आई पी एफ आर डी ए एवरीबडी ऑल ऑफ दैम एक्चुअली रेगुलेट द अकाउंट एग्रीगेटर्स इन इंडिया राइट बिकॉज दे आर कलेक्टिंग एंड शेयरिंग द फाइनेंशियल डेटा ऑफ द कस्टमर्स सो डिफरेंट फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन रेगुलेट द अकाउंट एग्रीगेटर्स इन इंडिया कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग द डोमेस्टिकली सिस्टमैटिकली इम्पॉर्टेंट बैंक इन इंडिया द अथॉरिटी दैट आइडेंटिफाइज एंड रेगुलेट्स डोमेस्टिकली सिस्टमैटिकली इम्पॉर्टेंट बैंक इन इंडिया इज सेबी इज इट द ग्रुप इंक्लूड्स अ बैंक हुज एसेट साइज रेप्रजेंट मोर देन फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द जी डी पी दिस इज एक्चुअली फॉल्स मैक्सिमम टू परसेंट द ग्रुप इंक्लूड्स बैंक नॉट मैक्सिमम मिनिमम टू परसेंट मिनिमम ये बोल रहे हैं कि फाइव परसेंट बट इट इज एक्चुअली टू परसेंट इफ द बैंक एसेट इज इक्वल टू टू परसेंट ऑफ द होल जी डी पी ऑफ द कंट्री दैट इज अस्टमैटिकली डोमेस्टिकली सिस्टमैटिकली इंपॉर्टेंट बैंक देयर साइज क्रॉस जूरिस्टिक्शन एक्टिविटीज कंप्लेक्सिटी एंड लैक ऑफ सब्सटीट्यूट एंड इंटर कनेक्शन मेक इट टू बिग टू फॉल सो एच डी एफ सी आई सी आई सी आई एस बी आई इन इंडिया दीज थ्री बैंक आर डोमेस्टिकली सिस्टमैटिकली इंपॉर्टेंट बैंक दे आर टू बिग टू फेल इन केस दीज बैंक एनी ऑफ दीज बैंक फेल दे आर गोइंग टू हैव ह्यूज इम्पैक्ट ऑन द इंडियन इकोनॉमी सो आउट ऑफ दीज ओनली थर्ड वन इज करेक्ट बिकॉज फर्स्ट वाला आर बी आई द रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया आइडेंटिफाइज द डोमेस्टिक सिस्टम डोमेस्टिकली सिस्टमैटिकली इम्पॉर्टेंट बैंक से भी नहीं करता आर बी आई करता है एंड टू परसेंट ऑफ द जी डी पी नॉट फाइव परसेंट एंड द थर्ड वन दे आर टू बिग टू फेल विच इज एक्चुअली करेक्ट इन इंडिया एच डी एफ सी लेट मी राइट इट फॉर यू एच डी एफ सी बैंक आई सी आई सी आई बैंक एंड एस बी आई दीज थ्री बैंक आर सिस्टमैटिकली डोमेस्टिकली सिस्टमैटिकली इंपॉर्टेंट बैंक इन नो केस इंडियन गवर्नमेंट इज इज लेटिंग दीज बैंक टू फेल इंडियन गवर्नमेंट इन्हें फेल कभी नहीं होने देगी नो मैटर वॉट बिकॉज इन केस एनी ऑफ दीज बैंक दे आर गोइंग इफ दे फेल आई मीन दिस दिस इज गोइंग टू हैव ह्यूज इम्पैक्ट ऑन द इंडियन इकॉनमी राइट बहुत बहुत डीप इम्पैक्ट होगा इंडियन इकॉनमी पे इन केस अ बैंक लाइक येस बैंक और ए यू स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक ए यू बैंक और इक्विटास बैंक इन केस दॉज बैंक फेल दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू हैव दैट इम्पैक्ट ऑन द इकॉनमी ऑब्वियसली दे गोइंग टू हैव इम्पैक्ट बट दीज थ्री आर डोमेस्टिकली सिस्टमैटिकली इम्पॉर्टेंट बैंक दैट्स रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट सो मैच द लिस्ट वन विद द लिस्ट टू वाई एच मलेगाम कमेटी यशवंत एम देवस्थाल कमेटी इन इन जे टी श्रीनिवास कमेटी एंड सुदर्शन सेन कमेटी वे विद विच यू नो रिफॉर्म दे आर रिलेटेड टू गिव इट अ लुक वाई एच मलेगाम कमेटी इन टू थाउजेंड टेन इट वॉज सेटअप बाय of the rbi and it led to the creation of micro finance institution in india so yh malegam committee recommended the creation of micro finance institution in india yashwant am deosthale committee it recommended the establishment of digital public registry in india and injeti srinivas uh, made huge changes and made recommendation for insolvency laws in india so it was for insolvency reforms in india so darshan sen it led to the reforms for asset reconstruction companies in india in india so please remember that these are kind of four questions not just one these are kind of four questions very important please remember that why yh malegam uh, micro finance institution in india yashwan dev sale this is for i guess uh, digital public registry and then injeti srinivas this is for insolvency laws and sudarshan so sen asset reconstruction companies in india please remember that so students that was a pretty short session uh, for i guess around 10 minutes we are going to continue this series in the future uh, ibps rrb scale 2 and scale 3 course in which we are providing conceptual videos isme hum sari conceptual videos we are providing in our paid course in the free youtube videos we are providing quizzes right so whatever the quiz that we are preparing we are trying to provide those quiz to our uh, students on youtube in the paid course we are providing conceptual videos we are providing the pdfs to our students we are providing the compilations we are providing the the test series we are providing access on android and ios apps the power capsules uh, the interview preparation guidance the doubt clearing sessions everything is available 
in the paid course 9067201000 this is our personal uh, you know whatsapp number on this number you can ask your doubts we are going to answer your doubts all the times so uh, list of our successful students all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams real students all these students that took our courses our courses and they cracked their respective exams next can be you it's actually very easy to crack the scale 2 scale 3 level exam you just need to take another step towards your preparation start your preparation in a very systematic manner and we help you to start your preparation in a systematic manner so start your preparation as soon as possible today is the best day to start your preparation with bank exams today that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day hope to see you in the course that's all for today thank you and have a nice day bye bye